You now have 15 seconds to like, comment, and subscribe. I think you better do what he says. Today we're taking a look at Haya Toys Exquisite Mini Robocop Ed 209. Welcome back. I've always been an enormous fan of Ed 209. I was jealous of my friend who had the Kenner one back in the day. Almost bought the Hot Toys one. I'm glad I didn't because it had a lot of problems with it. But uh, finally, we have one from Haya Toys. Perfect size to go on scale with the other Robocop figures we have. So here we have a look at the packaging. Closed box. You can, don't actually get a look at Ed from the outside here. So you do have pictures of the figure there. A little bit of information on the side. Another picture on the back. Nothing on the bottom. The side, a picture from the film. Now before we get Ed out of his packaging, I'd like to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. It really does help spread the video around and uh, lets other people see how cool these figures are. So let's get him out of the packaging and let's see how he looks. So with the Ed out of his packaging, we'll measure him up. He stands about five and a half inches tall or about 14 centimeters. Now that is with him posed at his lowest point. You can raise him up, which I'll show later on, but that is the smallest he gets. And here's Ed next to the other Hiya Toys Robocops I've reviewed. We have Murphy from Robocop 1 and Robocane from Robocop 2. Which one is your favorite? For me, I've always been a fan of Ed, but uh, all three are really great and it's amazing to have all three in figure form. Now Ed here doesn't come with any accessories, so we'll go right into looking at the figure itself. And I really am impressed with what we have been given by Hiya Toys. Uh, really imposing looking figure. I've always wanted an Ed and I'm so happy that uh, this one turned out so well. So as you can see, we do have a lot of uh, kind of dark spotting on here, kind of around all of his uh, rivets and stuff like that, just to look like they've been kind of worn. There's kind of grease and everything on there. This dome here, which uh, was rubber on the Hot Toys version and rotted within a month of people getting them. People put mod podge on them to kind of preserve them uh, is um, one solid plastic piece here so you don't have to worry about that uh, rotting on this figure. His shoulder sections do raise up like in the film and you can see that there is lots of little details and wires and stuff like that leading out of the shoulders. His cannons here and lots of little pieces there. They do rotate and everything. There is also a battle damaged version of Ed available with, uh, I think it's this cannon destroyed. And you can see all kinds of different little stuff poking out of him. Wires and things like that. Move down to this section here. Do get some rotation in that there, articulation. Move down to the legs. Again, more wires. These are sculpted in here, painted. Uh, not the best looking. It would have been nice to have actual wires in there, but they probably would have gotten caught during articulation, so I can understand why they didn't do that. You see dry brushing on his toes there, like they've been scraped. You can see the bottom of his feet. So I, as mentioned, these do extend. You want to be a little bit careful with them. They are kind of a ratchet. So you can kind of extend both sides here. and get them super tall if you want. Uh, I don't like the way that looks. I'd probably go kind of down about the middle here. Something like that I think looks a little bit better. You see on the back we've got different kind of warning signs and things like that. Same on that side. And if you notice, there is a button. He does have a sound feature. I'm not sure why they've never really done uh, 
sound on any other high toys figures even the hot toys had sound and so did the uh, robocop i don't know if that's a licensing thing that they require it for ed 209 figures it's a weird decision but uh he does have some phrases here So actual audio from the film, he says, please put down your weapon, you have 20 seconds to comply. We have a short uh, sound of his machine gun, and then... And finally a short clip of him uh, walking. So yeah, not sure why he has sound, but... uh, he does. It's not the loudest thing in the world, and you only have the three clips there, but uh, I guess it doesn't really add too much to the price uh, compared to Rebel Kane, who, uh, interestingly, uh, someone pointed out in the comments that this guy was supposed to have sound too, according to the listings, but he doesn't. If he does, I never saw a button anywhere, and there's no uh, battery compartment. So uh, just uh, Ed 209 has sound, but uh, it's there. I'm not going to complain about it. But yeah, I'm really happy with this guy. Always loved his design, and I think he turned out really well. I really like the uh, color they chose for him. It does come off as more blue in the video here, I notice. In uh, person, it's more of a gray. It's not a gunmetal gray like uh, Robocane here. You can see there is quite a big difference between them. He's more of like a, like a plastic or something like that. More futuristic, even compared to uh, Murphy here. You can see there is quite a stark difference, but uh, I really like the way this guy looks. So looking at articulation, this is going to be a little bit of a weird one to do. As mentioned, the shoulder armors do go up and down. The arms rotate all the way around, and they can go forwards and backwards like that. The head does pivot. You do get a full range of movement for his leg there. As mentioned, the legs do adjust to allow you to uh, choose the height you want. The toes are articulated, goes up and down like that. These toes go up and down a little bit. And there is a little bit of uh, foot articulation there. So about what you've seen in the movie. Oh, and the uh, turrets, as shown earlier, do rotate around. So you can kind of position them how you want. So Ed is as bit as articulated as you saw him in the film there. He isn't uh, the most mobile robot ever, but uh, you do get some options with him for the feet and stuff like that. And uh, it is nice that these uh, legs here are functioning. You can adjust his height and everything like that. Really, he's more about uh, just standing there like he was in the film. So overall, I'm really, really happy with this guy. I've always loved his design, and I think he turned out really well. I really like all the little details like the uh, wires and stuff like that, the kind of uh, warning symbols, and uh, this kind of black just kind of makes him look a little bit more worn, not too worn, just enough. Uh, The sound feature is an odd inclusion, but uh, hey, we have it, so I'm not going to complain. But yeah, having uh, Ed and Robocop and now Robocane together uh, is just really nice. He's a great addition to the collection. I think uh, even Ed on his own, for me, is enough, but uh, having all three of them is great. And we are getting the uh, samurai guy from Robocop 3. To uh, Utomo, I think his name is. I don't really remember his name. I haven't seen that movie too many times. I don't think it's as bad as most people say it is, but uh, why would you watch Robocop 3 when Robocop 1 and 2 are available, right? So yeah, super happy to have this guy. I think he's a really great display piece, and I'm really happy to uh, add him to the collection here. I have reviewed other Robocop figures from High Toys, and I have more High Toys reviews to come, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see those. But for right now, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.